Always know that. Hey. You got it roll. Here we go. Hey. Tell my baby you the only one I trust I told my shawty you ain't gotta make a fuss When I was down, out of luck, and you stuck It was us in a rut Woke up, I hit a chick for you Baby, give me life, you know I live for you Girl, you know I live for you Ride or die, kill for you Let them talk slick, I'm gonna have to split a wig for you Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic On your way in the door, please smash that like button Please know that everything that I say over here is in my opinion. It is alleged and it is for entertainment purposes only. Let's get right into it, y'all. We're getting into this messy, messy, messy love and marriage Huntsville. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the reunion. And I have a special surprise for y'all. I have a little, I have clips from an interview that was done with Miss Patty Betty. All right. Um, y'all know who Miss Patty Betty is. That's Stormy Steele's mom. And it was done by um, the other Patty mama on the show, Miss Show Enough, Miss Wanda. So I'm going to give y'all a little commentary about these clips and I'm going to kind of come in between the clips and give you a little bit here and there. But let me just start off by saying this. They started the live off <laughs> saying that they can't really talk about a certain person, right? So y'all all know who that certain person is. That certain person is who? Melody Cherie Hope. Well, it ended up every answer that was given to a question, every time there was any type of shade that was thrown, any time there was any question asked about who do somebody think somebody is against one of their daughters, guess who they think the culprit is? Guess who they think has that much power that she is somehow or another against both of their daughters now i'm gonna say this because i've said it before i have never in my entire i actually have i seen them do this to mariah huck all right for those of y'all who don't know who mariah huck is she was the executive producer and um creator of married to medicine and they tried to take her show but what the reason the way they tried to take her show was they had the cast coming against her season after season after season after season until she took their butts to court and sued them for everything under the sun and got a real fat paycheck and then she told them you can have the show okay but you're gonna give me my um my creative content okay so I don't know if Melody's going to have to end up doing this. I know she had to go to the big dogs on these people. So much so that Wanda scared to say her name on the show. But she's not scared to actually talk about her. She just calls her her and it and them. Okay. Maybe Ms. Wanda don't know because she probably got like a fourth grade education. No shade. But. You know that you're still talking about that person, even if you're not calling their name, because you're insinuating that that is the person that you're talking about. OK, please know that I know that you think if you don't call their name, that that mean you're not, quote unquote, talking about them. But you are. That's all I got for Miss Wanda. I ain't got no more for her because she's exhausting. But Miss Betty, Miss Petty Betty, I got I got a couple things for her. The first thing is, I think that she is so delusional to think that it's okay to go in the comments, okay, of a of, of a young lady who was supposed to be her daughter's friend, make a comment on something because she assumed. She got so much hate for this woman that she assumed that that comment was about her smush faced daughter. OK, let's let's call a spade a spade. You assumed that a comment was about your daughter. So then you started being nasty to said person. Here's my problem. You don't have any proof. Number one. Number two. 
when you go back and really look at it, anybody with eyes can see that she won't talking about your daughter at all. But you want to hate this woman so bad. With like an introduction and okay. let everybody know who mama you are. Okay. My name is Betty Steele and I'm the mother of Stormy Steele from Love and Marriage Huntsville. And Miss Betty, do do Stormy ask you to speak for her or you speak for yourself for your daughter? I speak for myself for my daughter. Okay. If y'all have any questions, please put it in the chat so that I can read it for them. Miss Stormy, do you feel like your daughter is being treated fair in a fair light on the show? Um, I don't think they're showing all of her accomplishments. You know, I think they need to show more of her home life and more of what she's about, what her business is about, because she worked hard to get where she is. Right. Do you feel that Melanie had a real relationship with Stormy, a real friendship? No, I don't. Okay. So you think it was just for the show? Yeah, I do. Okay. And you're looking pretty fine. Everybody is saying hello, Miss Betty. Now... First of all, you said that you think they should show more of her. Well, I guess they would if she was a full-time cast member. Wouldn't you have to be a full-time cast member in order to be showcased on a show? Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm not mistaken, for the last one or two seasons, she's been a quote-unquote friend to the show. So... How is she not being treated fairly? Why would they showcase anything of a person that's supposed to be a friend to the show? And if I'm not mistaken, the friend that she came in under was Melanie. Right? Yeah, that's exactly who it was. She came in under Melanie. And she said, I don't have no problems with Melanie. No issues. I don't have no problems with nobody. So what was your daughter doing? Cloud chasing or being fake? Because she came to the show under the person that you claim she don't like. You say you don't speak for her, but you do speak for her. You speak for her. Whether you want to admit it or not, you speak for her. So... Then you say, well, I don't think their friendship was genuine. Well, if it wasn't genuine, who was being fake? Her or Melody? Because it looks to me like your daughter is fake. Don't know how to make friends. And she is the one that's the fake. I don't know what. Because if you don't like a person, why in the world would you come under their wing in a show? And then you come to the show as their friend. Make it make sense because that don't make no sense to me at all. So if they were never friends, I can guarantee you that it had nothing to do with Melody because I think she thought Stormy was genuine. It had everything to do with your daughter. So now all you're doing is just proving that your daughter is a fake biatch. Thanks. Everybody's saying hello, Miss Betty, and, and they're saying they're loving this. And if y'all have any questions, please post it in the chat so that I can read it to Miss Betty and Miss Wanda. Um, Miss Betty, do you plan on um, in the future um, advising your daughter to just speak up and tell how she really feels? That's what I tell her on a daily. You know, that's your voice. Don't let anybody silence. If you have something to say, say it. Right. Um, let's see. People well, I have, okay, I, have, I have one question for you, Miss Betty. Okay. Um, I have, you know, we always in the blogger business, right? We always in a, in a little, little chat chat, right? Right. And I know that you always in there as well. And I heard someone say that, um, uh, I was fired and you was there to take my place. Is that any truth to that, or do you know anything about that? One, nobody on this planet can take your place. There's <laughs> only one Miss Wonder. Okay. <laughs> oh, and okay. no, I, I don't operate like that, you know. And I'm one of the ones, but oh, why, why, why get rid of her? What have she done? But they'll see. Nobody can take your place. <laughs> <Be silent. laughs> 
Miss Betty, this question is coming from Chef Don Don. He's saying, do you regret how people are coming at Stormy for your adult actions? I regret how they're coming at her, but do I regret what I said? No. <laughs> Um, too feisty said, how does she feel about her daughter business being targeted? You know, they can target it all they want, but as long as the consumer are happy with what they're getting, as long as all these retailers were her, <laughs> hey, all long as all these retailers are happy with her product and she, um, affecting their bottom line, making it do what they wanted to do. There's no problem. <laughs> That part. <laughs> yeah, Miss Wanda, this is a question for you and Miss Betty. Do you feel that people are really doing a blackout um, because of you two, or do you feel um, that they're doing a watch party because these content creators are still able to talk about the show when they're supposed to be doing a blackout? Do y'all feel like they're blacking out the show for you two? Um, me personally, I don't think the little blackouts that they plan have affected anything. It just, if whatever going to be on that show that night, people go, well, I don't want to watch this, this boring. It's not about us. It's about who's appearing on that show that particular night. But the, the subject matter is about. Exactly. Exactly. I feel exactly the same way. I feel like majority of the time when, basically, I'm going to keep a book a book. <laughs> when I'm on the show, uh, it, it blows up. I mean, always I get more views when I'm on the show, whether they blacking out or not blacking out. And I feel like whatever they see uh, coming up, if they want to see it, they're going to look at it regardless. Oh, Even the people that blacking out are going to still look at it. And they want other people to not to look at it. And I don't think it's fair for the other people not to look, but they can see. Right. And, I'm sorry. No, okay, no, go ahead. Uh, the main one that's screaming, let's black out, let's black out. They're still going to watch. Right. But the regular viewers who have don't, you know, care about all this bickering and stuff going on, they don't want you to watch. And <laughs> I feel like they don't want you to watch. So when they get ready to write their little comment, it's gonna be from their point of view. Right. Miss right. Betty, uh Ebony M said, Do you think that Destiny received Stormy's Gucci purse gift with Grace? Um, maybe not at first, but Destiny and Stormy is at a point now where they're good. They're good. So I don't see any reason to bring up the past because they're doing well. And I like it. I like this. And right. um, I'm Rich James. Um, is saying my edge. Ask Carlos King <clears throat> did that blackout that they did when Shrek came on the show if it affected the numbers. Ask Carlos that. And then let me know your answer after you ask him did it affect the numbers? Because it did. Now, they weren't consistent with the blackout because there were some people that only agreed to do the blackout for that one episode that y'all had that monster on there. Okay. Other than that, everyone else just went resumed rewatching the show as normal. So that's why you like, oh, it wasn't effective. Actually, when the millimeters gather together, they're very effective. Okay. And let me get this one thing clear. I heard that there was some definite issues with the product and with the shipping of the product. So you might not want to speak too fast. I feel like when you start talking and talking and talking, you you almost like digging a hole for yourself. But really the hole you digging is for your daughter. Cause it's not gonna affect you and affect your pockets. It's gonna affect your daughter and your daughter's pockets. You know, you think you're helping your child with this ignorant behavior, but you're not. All you're doing is making her a villain. You're making people not be able to stand her via you. Like, I don't understand why you can't see that part. You, you clearly do not get it that this woman has been targeted and bullied. And then you come and you and your daughter jump on the same bullying harassing train that the rest of the cast was on and another thing you said you don't know why they wanted miss wanda off the show 
They wanted Miss Wanda off the show because she said some ignorant comments about her children. She said that her children would want to cut her grandkids' hair because of the grain of their hair or because their hair was long. How stupid of a comment is that to make coming from an almost 60-year-old woman? You know how dumb and uneducated she sounded making that comment? I don't know if I want my grandkids around them because they may cut their hair. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. And the viewers thought it was the dumbest, most ghetto, most ignorant ass comment they've ever heard. And they thought if this woman is going to be that low to talk about children and talk about another child hurting another child because of the type of hair that they have. This is not the type of person that needs to be on a nationally syndicated show. Period. Point blank. So if you ever had a question as to why the audience turned on Miss Wanda, that's just one of the reasons why. There's several others, but I figured I'd go ahead and drop that little gem for you. But honey, the blackout did work and I can guarantee you that the millimeters can show you better than they can tell you. So keep on talking. Keep on talking, Petty Betty. Miss um, Crystal Hart said... Do you think Melanie has something to do with the bloggers coming against Stormy Miss Betty? I feel, and notice the word I said is feel. I mm -hmm. feel that she does. Mm -hmm. And the reason I feel that because I think she sent out little keywords that get people riled up and ready to react. Wait, let me say let, let me say this. Let me say this, Miss Betty, before you get started. We're not going to talk about Maya period on my show because we don't want to talk about her on here. I mean, it's all right to ask questions, some questions, but we're not going to talk. We're not going to make just a Maya show. So if they want to know anything, go on the other tutors and jump on that side and find out what's going on with Ms. Mel, with Mel. So we're not going to really just talk about her on this one. And I already, we already, I already talked to you about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, Miss uh, Scallywag um, asked, do Miss Betty feel responsible for putting an unnecessary target on her daughter back based on her actions? No, I don't. And I don't see any target on her back uh, unless they're coming from certain people. Because right. the people who are going to support Stormy is going to support her. You know, nobody won't fail with the supporters. You're going right. to support me one day, support me next. Um, Miss Simply Elegant One said, Miss Betty, do you feel like you could tone it down in order to help your daughter get past the backlash? First of all, tone down what? <laughs> and tone down for what? <laughs> right. That part right there. Um, Miss Too Feisty says, Miss Betty, would you like to be featured on the show? I have no desire, but if asked, I'm not going to say I wouldn't, but that's not my goal. My only goal was to be a voice for my daughter because I wasn't going to let anybody write her narrative for her. Right, and you didn't do this on the show? No. Okay, mediation. Oh, let me stop you. Can I stop you for a moment? Yes. And I, I didn't do it in the group. I didn't bring this to the group. What uh, I did was on Twitter, and I wrote a comment on the mail tweet, okay? So that was Twitter. That could have ended in a day if somebody had a joy. I'm sorry, Miss uh Miss Wong, but it could have ended in a day if it had you a okay. You okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you can start by toning down your dumbass rhetoric. You sound stupid. That's what you can tone down. You're turning a whole group of fans against your daughter because you're running your mouth and stepping into a situation that you have no idea what's going on. You 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 sat back and watched as a fan, okay? And you decided who and what you liked based off of what you thought you knew off of the show. 
But clearly your daughter had other thoughts because if she didn't have other thoughts, then that wouldn't have been the main person that she tried to befriend to come on the show. I mean, so much so that she was hanging with the girl. The girl used the house for her video. They was um, they actually had developed a, a working business relationship. Even if it wasn't a genuine friendship, it was enough where they were cordial. Where now, you done shut that whole thing down, dumb, dumb, petty, Betty. And let's keep it real. You know there is no show without Mel, Miss Wanda. So even though you sitting up here saying, I'm not going to say her name and I ain't going to make this a male show. I'm actually going to prove by the end of this video that y'all can't have a conversation about the show without talking about that woman. That's the hell why. They actually told y'all, stop talking about her so much. Y'all actually probably got orders to not talk about her that much because y'all are so obsessed with her that y'all talk about her that much that you actually got to sit and make a statement on your show that we're not going to talk about her that much. You, you, you got to say it up front, even though we all know it can't be true because without Mel, there is no show. She's definitely the GOAT definitely the goat <laughs> like you literally gotta make a disclaimer we're not gonna talk about her and I told you that before the show started okay girl then you proceed to talk about her <laughs> okay all right every question that's gonna come Marcella gotta keep skipping over them because every question is going to involve who the goat and I beg to differ with you Miss Betty I think you running your mouth is making your daughter lose customers now you can say oh they were fair weather customers anyway that's not true that is not true people will decide to support or not support a brand based off of how you behave they do it all the time that's why cancel cancel culture that's where it came from it's people not agreeing with how people live their life with how people treat people and they decided well even if you don't think that you're doing anything wrong then we are just not going to support you that's where cancel cancel culture came from period when you got somebody that's out here bullying a person for no reason and this is what you're doing because you don't have no reason now all of a sudden you sitting up here saying this girl sends little what did you say she makes little innuendos to make people come after girl prove it show me I mean, that sounds almost psychotic. It really, really does. Y'all really think that this woman has that much power. She does not. The fans sit back and watch the show. We watch how y'all move. We watch how every single person on this show has moved. She don't have to say a word. And nine times, a lot of times, she don't say a word. People come up with their own decisions. I don't like you. Not because of anything that Mel said. I think you're an idiot for stepping onto a show and talking about a young woman that's your daughter's age or a little or a couple of years younger or older than her and calling her a garden tool. I think you're a horrible human being for doing that. Mel didn't tell me not to like you. I didn't know who you were before you brought your simple ass under her comments. Then when I found out who you were, I was like, she's dumb. And this is somebody's mama. And then to double down on it, weirdo. Um, let me see y'all. I'm catching up with these questions. Um, I got one. They they want to ask the question: Do Storm and have uh, mental health issues? Mental health issues. <laughs> All of us have mental health issues. Everybody's crazy. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She hadn't been diagnosed with any. 
<laughs> right, right. Almost wanted that mediation sound. That question was for you. Oh, for me? Uh-huh. Do I think that me, oh, they asked me? Hell Maybe. not. I don't, I mean, no, I don't think she have no a mental health issue. No, 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 not that mental health. Um, okay. Let me go back to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mediation. The question that I just, do you feel like the show is doing a fair representation of you, Miss Wanda? Do I think so? Um, yes, I do. I think that the show is doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, I'm not, I'm just, um, I'm not a full-time cast member. I'm just there to represent my daughter. So I'm like, I'll pop in and pop out. So I'm not, I mean, they gave me more time than I was expecting when I first got on. But um, I was not expecting that much time that they given me while I was there. So, I mean, I, I guess other people seen more than me than I seen myself. So I was just coming on to protect and whatever someone said about my daughter, I'm just 100% with her, regardless, right or wrong. And that's right. what we see. I see as somebody being real. Right, right. Miss Betty, did you like Miss Wanda's food? Yes, I did. I said it for every day, you know, regardless of what Stormy had to say, because we're two different people. She right. can like one thing and I can love, love it, okay? So, yeah, I, I said it from day one. I'm not changing up on it. I did. Um, Miss Wanda, I believe this is from Miss Too Feisty because y'all, Miss Betty is not uh, a member of the Love and Marriage cast. So, Miss Too Feisty, if this is not for Miss Wanda, let me know. In what way do you feel like you support your daughter since becoming a member of that Love and Marriage cast? What way do I think I support her? Mm -hmm. I support her 100% whenever it comes down to whoever. If you call my daughter name and she don't, if she's not there, her mother's there at all given time. I'm there. So I support her and whatever she do. If she feel like, like tonight, y'all see, well, they was chewing her up about um, my so cheating. Um, next week, y'all will see what happened, the cheating part that you thought that he was cheating. I'm going to be, I'm there to protect her. I'm there to hold her hands all the way through it. All the way through it, whether she's right or wrong. I'm personal, have not seen anything wrong. So I don't, I don't, I'm not going to just sit down and say, well, uh, my daughter is, she's doing the right thing. Or she being naive and all this and all that. Certain things I did say because I seen it from my own eyes. And what I see with my own eyes, I can only speak on that. My soul being nasty, being this and that, you know, yeah, I can speak on that. But if she like it, hey, I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to always tell him what's right. I'm going to always tell her what's right. Whether she like it or not, I'm going to always tell her what's right. But if she can deal with it, hey, by me telling her, you always, you can lead a horse to the water, but hey, left her to them to drink it, hey. Keeping it real with you. Miss Betty, this question is for um, Priority Thick Girl 40. Do y'all like everybody as cast members there? Do you like everyone? I do. I do. There's I no one on the cast it's member that I do not like on my respect. I, that's everybody. I like all of them from day one. I talk my noise. I say what I got to say and I leave it there. But when I leave up at that house, when I'm through what I'm doing, I think my job is done well, so I'm gone. So you can hate me, but I'm just gonna tell you what I feel, and, I, and I'm and I'm through with it. So yes, I do go. I mean, I do like everybody. I do, Miss Betty. I like everyone, but do I like the traits of everybody? No, I don't, because there's some characteristic character flaws that I don't like. Okay, um, Miss Wanda, do you believe Carlos King is being fair? About what the whole show? Yes, I think Carlos King is being fair about everything because hey, one minute he picking a bone with one person, the next minute he picking a bone with the next person. So he got his spots and choosing. He's gonna um, he gonna pick at you one minute, next minute he gonna pick at the next guys, and the next minute I think it's just teaching them time to be picked at. I mean, he's just gonna bring it all and he's gonna give what he got. He got a show that he running, he's gonna keep it going. So yeah, I mean. 
whatever happened, they just they they signed up for a reality TV show. So and that's what he giving them a reality TV show. So yeah, I think he's being fair. I really do. Miss Betty, Ronnie yeah. F. Said- How the hell? Can y'all say who you like and who you don't like? Miss Wanda, all you doing is sitting up there lying because you want that check again because they done ran your butt off that show because you was being too get ignorant, too ghetto, talking about people's children and they hair type and saying little dumb comments, little ignorant, dumb uneducated ghetto fied comments like that and they kick they they won't job up they ousted your behind and, and put you in time out so now all of a sudden you like everybody you don't like everybody not at all please we all know the one person that you don't like because you can't even say her name no more without looking guilty or sounding guilty that let's start there and then now let's move on to you talk about um uh what did you say or uh, miss betty said um she don't like the characteristics of certain people who you don't know them if you knew them then you can make those kind of comments but to say well i don't like the characteristics of certain people well i don't like the characteristics of your daughter i think her coming on and her very first scene that she shoots where she's actually speaking and got a speaking part she getting up getting ready to fight one of the cast members i think that was ghetto i don't like those characteristics so do that mean that i should take and judge your daughter for that one incident that she did it based off of a tv show she getting up getting ready to fight acting ghetto telling people that they ain't got enough money to to step to her and all of that stuff that's what turned everybody off about your daughter okay you don't like that do you you don't like nobody sitting up talking about your daughter and saying how ghetto she was her and destiny was getting ready to come to blows okay come to blows for what and guess who was the one person that said y'all ain't even got no beef for real chill out actually trying to get these two grown women to actually stop acting foolish and chill out your daughter was up there acting a fool a complete plum fool on tv okay so please and miss wanda i'm tired of you talking about your damn baby she almost 40 years old she ain't no damn baby she's a grown ass woman that can speak for and talk for herself she's married with three children that she's raising on her own she don't need your ass to do nothing for her you look stupid y'all look so dumb with this whole helicopter mom mother hen routine that you're trying to play and using that as a guise to just be ghetto and petty you just want to be ghetto and petty just say it y'all like two high school two high school women both of y'all i'm sure in your 60s are close to it and y'all acting like the two most ghetto women i've ever seen and i was raised to be respectful of my elders but i cannot respect women that are this hood and i definitely can't respect women that actually advocate bullying because that's exactly what the both of y'all are two big old ass golden girl bullies um miss louisiana chick 318 said miss betty i like i like stormy from the jump still can you tell us what you think can resolve this situation <laughs> What can resolve? What can resolve it is uh, own your truth. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. That's on both sides. Own your truth. Miss Wanda, your favorite, Monique King. She's asking Miss Wanda tonight. They said that said again. Marcel was gone for a month. Was he really only gone for three days, or did he go to Africa two times? No, I got the correct answer after talking to my daughter. She was gone for a week and a half. I, it was not a month. It was not a month. I mean, how many seasons do you see Love and Marriage in Huntsville lasting? Uh, at least 10 years. 
<laughs> At least 10, is not more. Miss Betty, do you get along with the other moms on the show? Um, this is the only mom that I have spoken with. It's Miss Wanda. I don't know the other moms. Okay. Miss Wanda, people are telling you Happy New Year. Um, let me see, because I don't want to miss any questions. Too feisty said, Miss Betty, what do you think uh, is the resolution of this issue? Or what is the resolution you would like to see? Uh, no comment. <laughs> no. Big Girl 40 said, did you like those puppets? <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Why did he blind me? Oh. It was funny. I liked it. Yeah. It was. It really was. It was. It was more funny because I was there to see it all have yeah. her play out. So yeah, it was very funny because I'm like, do I need to jump up and go back there and see what's going on with my baby? I'm like, wait a minute now. And yeah, it was very funny when she came back out. Mm -hmm. so, and it also took away some of that away from that. And she was able yeah. to. It was the truth, though. She brought the puppies out and she played the games as the puppies. Mm -hmm. It was two of puppies. I mean, I'm keeping it real with y'all. Like I said, I'm keeping a book a book. Hey, it really was true. That it took and I see some of the anger that was going on. Right, right. right. <laughs> um, Miss <laughs> Betty Marvin says she. Right. Miss um, Wanda, do you hate that Kiki had no loyalty? I do, but I know the reason why Kiki was doing all the things she is doing. So, yes, I do hate that, but she came around. She came around, so she know what happened. She know what's going on, so she can see through it like everybody else can see through the glass. Okay, the glass was very clear. You can see, you can see straight through it, yeah. So she coming around. She doing good now, so... Hopefully that she learned from her mistakes. Um, Miss Miss Wanda, is there anything that you would do differently regarding the show and the cast? I would never bring up kids involved, never, ever, ever again. I would definitely turn it all the way around. But when I say it, I really sort of turn it around to the other way. You know, the other the person shouldn't, you know. I would have turned it around. I would have did something totally different. Miss Wanda, yes. they're enjoying Miss Betty up here. They want to know, Thank will you. you be interviewing Marcel and Leticia on the show? Oh, I will. And also Kimmy and Maurice as well. Okay. And also, I'm I'm trying to get to Martell. <laughs> hey, y'all want to hear what Martell said on the reunion? It's going to be, it's going to be, Chocolate, chocolate, baby. It's going to be something you can eat on. Yeah. When he get in there, y'all going to hear him. I'm not going to tell it. Miss Wanda, but, um, um, I'm Rick James. Said, was it okay for Marceau and Tisha to tell Kiki's business? Well, I think, I don't think it happened the way they said it happened. So the business that was told, it was not like, uh, they just told, just came out and said, oh, Kiki doing this, or this person doing that. It was nothing like that. It was like, okay, this right here, what I do not, you know, I don't want you to think that it's okay for you to bring somebody there and I didn't tell y'all. Or something happened and I didn't tell you. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like, I'm just coming to tell y'all, don't trust her. Uh, she going to do this, she going to do that. It was nothing like that. It was the lies was told was totally different than what, what they showed on the show. I mean, it was nothing like what they showed on the show. Um, so I'll give me some questions for Miss Betty. Um, but here's the thing, Miss Betty, are you filming for the next season? No, I'm not. Okay, Miss Miss Wanda, are you they don't know yet? <laughs> <laughs> we 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 chewing for her, so she don't know yet. <laughs> Let me um, say that to y'all. Okay. We got a beautiful content creator.
Hell no, it was not okay for her to tell Kiki's business. Stop beating around the bush. That's the problem. That's why nobody can't stand y'all. All y'all do is lie, tap dance, and make excuses. That's it. And Miss Betty, what truth? What truth are you talking about? About a person you barely even know. Like, I, y'all, the more y'all talk, the more irritated I get with y'all because I just, it just really bothers me that two old ass hag women is acting like this. It is a trip. And then you hollering about all the people you going to interview. What they going to talk about? What are they going to come on your show and talk about? Oh, let me take a guess. <laughs> Probably male. My tail, my soul, Tisha, Kimmy, and Maurice. If they come on your show to interview, they ain't got shit to talk about because they don't show their lives on the show. So what the hell you going to talk to them about? And what kind of interview questions are you going to have for them? The only thing they know how to do is talk about Mel and Martel. In Martel's case, the only thing he know how to do is talk about Mel. So I would love to know what the content of that interview is going to be. Like, y'all just are come. Oof, Lord. Let me continue on. Miss Betty checking you, Boo say they want Stormy full time as long as she can continue to have her own mind. And um, tell Carlos we need a show with the mamas. They want to see the mamas together come together. Um, then they said they can't block any of Stormy blessings. Oh, Miss Miss Monique King said they can't block any of Stormy blessings. They need to build the show around her, my favorite person on the show. Um, Correct. All right. <laughs> um, Checky Boo said what needs to be cleared up about the first part of the reunion. Were there any lies told? Will you correct the lies, either of y'all, if y'all know? I will. And you froze. I mean, if there was any lies told on the behalf of Tisha and Marceau, if Marceau lied, I really want to correct those lies. I want the people to sit down and say, if they lying about it, if you're paying somebody to come on the show, that's an automatic lie right there. Yeah. Because you, you shouldn't have to pay no one to come on the show. So if someone got to pay you to lie for me or to be friend with me, that would never, never happen. So I feel I feel like it's reality TV, so let it be real. I don't right. like all this fake acting and um, pretending and, and lying about who was doing what and what was doing what. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you got a back of somebody at a hotel, I mean, let it be known. Let it be known and quit taking pictures of people that you probably took a back of a long time ago or something. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, I think it was a lot of lies going on on the show tonight. I mean, Confession Stephen Wonder would have seen that. Confession yeah. said, Miss Wanda, you would be perfect to do an after-show pillow talk on each episode. <laughs> um, they said, who, both of y'all, who do you feel was the messiest tonight? I already told mine. <laughs> I already said, I think my tail was the missing one tonight to me, mm -hmm. to me. And, and you want to go second and third place? <laughs> 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 what place do they want to take it in? Mm. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, my tail was, he was throwing jab, jab at just about everybody on the show tonight. Mm -hmm. My tail said, oh, I'm not leaving out here alone, baby. Y'all got to bring me. I'm putting, putting somebody <laughs> with me. I'm got to bring somebody up here with me. Now, God damn, now, I, I heard what he said about uh, going to Africa. I heard about that when he said, I know Tisha came right back at him. And she was like, uh, well, I was not, he was not going to the gym. So we already know what the gym was going, what going on at the gym. I <laughs> so she came right back and she told five right back in. I said, oh, baby, you're going to burn your ass down. You better shut up now. You better shut up while you're ahead, Montel. Okay, okay, okay. Hit that like button for Miss Wanda. Please hit the like yeah, button. Yeah, hit that like button, baby, y'all. Come yeah. on now. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Come on. I just want to log y'all up in here tonight. Miss Betty, this I feel like a deflection. 
when uh, Marcel wanted to the answer, then you name call. I don't like that. Right. I mean, right. right. Yeah, that was rude. That yeah. was very rude. But you know, some people need those lead thighs and and and, and right. boobs. They don't have them. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call and that they, what they need. Yeah. Answer the question. Don't don't belittle somebody because you can't answer the question. <laughs> No, they could not tell the truth. They had to think up a lot. Because the person come to me, I'm going to throw it back out at you. I'm going to speed it out as fast as you throw it at me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If it's the truth, I don't care how much you try to talk over me. I'm going to like, bitch, okay, this right here, what happened, okay? So you can talk over me as long as you want to because I'm not hearing what you're saying. You was over there at this woman's house, like I said, and you said this, and you did this, and you did that. So I'm the type of person that's the truth coming out, it hit you. I don't give where it laying at, as long as it hits you. Right. I'm like, I'm going to throw a rock wherever it goes, as long as it hits you, that's where it's going to hit you at. So if it hits you on your leg, thighs, or hips, okay? So I'm going to tell you the truth on all three of them. Miss Wanda, Miss Wanda reads her comments, y'all. If I miss some questions, forgive me, okay? But I'm gonna read some of these comments. Uh, Ronnie F said, "I would like right. to see more of Stormy, Courtney, and business endeavors, and less of the Winslows. No shade." Monique King said, "Tisha gave me the questions. Let me see, Miss Wanda, will you interview Destiny and Stormy also?" I will. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will ask them to come on. I'm sure I am. Oh, let me see, y'all. So let me read some of these comments to y'all. Um, checking you, boo. Say, well, first of all, I love to know what lies y'all talking about. And second of all, if I'm not mistaken, everybody that comes on that show is getting a check. So, what are you talking about? It's like y'all. I think sometimes. Definitely you, Miss Wanda. You just like to hear yourself just talk. Just talk, 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 talk. Miss Wanda, everybody that come on that goddamn show is getting a freaking check. So what would have been different with the girl that my soul was sleeping with? What would have been the difference? I mean, everybody know who it was. It was the girl that they brought on their live. Everybody knows it. But at the end of the day, everybody that comes on that show receives a check. So what would have been wrong with them getting a check? As a matter of fact, I thought I heard the woman say I referred them to production for payment. Don't you get a check for cutting the food and showing your ass every time you come on that show? Clearly you do. That's why you want to come back on the show. And... What do you mean? Oh, you don't have to insult anybody. That's all y'all people do is insult from sun up to sun down. And guess what? She could have answered the question if my soul's deputy dog ass wasn't yelling over top of her every time she opened her mouth. And she just decided I'm not going to sit up here and continue to yell over legs, hips, and breasts. He do got legs, hips, and breasts. Okay? He got all three. He needs to handle that. That's for real. Don't get mad because that's what it was. That wasn't name calling. That was stating a fact. Okay. So again, the obsession. You see, you see the obsession? People, there were so many people that were saying things on that stage. There were so many things that was that was done that was shady as a mug by just about every cast member on that stage, including Tisha, including Marceau. But the only one Patty Betty could find was the legs, hips, and breasts comment. Okay, girl. That's how you're proving everyone's point with your obsession. It's crazy to me. Y'all are just, oh Lord, that woman is so anointed. Her star shines so bright that it literally, it, it makes y'all scared. It, it does something to y'all. Like that's the only comment you heard out of a whole hour show when all of them was up there throwing shade left and right. That means you're obsessed with that one person. 
Lord have mercy. Y'all need to go to rehab. Because it's almost like Melody is a drug. Like she is crack and y'all are crack addicts. Y'all got to have a hit. Y'all need a hit of the mail. Mm, 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 mm. They get in there. Okay, y'all give me some questions for Miss Betty. Miss Betty, you have been fiery. Um, l- let me ask you, do you stand by everything you did? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, let me see. Thank And we're going to leave it right there. Y'all heard that last question? Patty Betty, do you stand by everything that you did? The answer was, yes, I do. I stand by disrespecting someone that's the same age as my daughter. I stand by uh, making sure that I get on the bully train and the harassment train along with the other cast members so that I can do my best to bully from the sidelines, even if it means that I jump into her Twitter uh, feed and 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 hop on a question that had nothing to do with my Pi-Face daughter. I am committed to being a bully. She said it out of her own mouth. Now, mind you, her daughter, the one standing up at tables, having to be held back, Destiny throwing chairs at her. And you know what she said? Oh, I like Destiny. Destiny wanted to drag your daughter up the street and back again. And then when she came with the Gucci purse, she told she actually put her out before she let her in. She disrespected your daughter in so many ways. And you good with her? That's how I know that this is all some bullshit. Nobody disrespected Stormy the way the way Destiny did. She clowned the hell out your daughter. And was going to beat her ass physically on TV. So, yeah. All I got to say is, y'all have showed your hand. Watch your back because the melon beaters are coming for you. And I can guarantee you that this is not going to end well for your child. Because one thing about it. Mel's fans are die hard and they're not going to sit back and watch her be bullied by yet another thirsty ass wannabe full-time cast member. They're not going to stand by and let it happen. So that's all I have. Y'all hop in those comments and let me know what y'all think about Petty Betty and show enough Miss Ghetto Wanda because I don't know if I can take another season I definitely can't take one with Wanda but if they add another Ghetto Mama to the mix and then they all harassing one person y'all it's not gonna be a good look for Love and Marriage Huntsville so let me know what y'all think smash that like button and i'll see you guys in the next video bye what's up